Now that car is numbered 54, that's number 54 involved in this crash involving 130 vehicles. You can see here, for example, this one has hit the central reservation, a lorry behind it, really quite the scene of chaos. Now we have the latest shots from up in the air that give you a real sense of the scale of this stretching right the way along the Sheppey crossing. Well, let's go live to Dover now and join our correspondent there, Simon Jones. And Simon, what more do we know about what happened? Well, this was an extraordinary rescue. Let me show you the boat on which the migrants were found. Now, there's not much of it. It's pretty small, not good boat to be in the busiest shipping channel in the world. They did have a couple of life jackets with them. They did have some water. Crucially, they had their mobile phone. Now, what happened is around two o'clock this morning, they rang 999 saying they were in trouble, but they had no idea exactly where they were. If we take a walk down here we can see partly what the response was because two lifeboats were launched the Dover lifeboat and also the lifeboat from Dungeness you can see down there the lifeboat that went out France is reeling from a night of coordinated attacks when gunmen and suicide bombers went on the rampage in crowded bars restaurants and a concert hall gunfire on the streets we can now go uh, live to uh, Sandwich in Kent now, where Simon Jones uh, is, is there. Simon, what's happening? Well, a huge amount of activity here tonight and lots of worried faces, as we've seen in other parts of the country, filling up sandbags, people trying to get ready, due to hit here in around five hours' time. Let's get the latest from the Environment Agency, Alison Baptiste. How bad is it going to be here? Well, it's certainly going to be one of the most significant um, surge events for almost 60 years. Many don't want to move to the new centre that's been set up, but this is the entrance to the jungle, the area that the authorities say must be cleared. And the reason why is that road up there. That leads to Euro Tunnel and also to the port of Calais. And some migrants have been going onto the road trying to stop lorries to get on board them. If you take a look over there, you can see some are moving. The removal process has begun. The Kent Police and Crime Commissioner Anne Barnes is under fire again tonight, accused of glossing over a series of failings in her latest annual report. It's a very positive report. There's an awful lot of good work going on here. It makes Kent. no mention of the first youth commissioner and the fiasco surrounding that. Um, I object to the word fiasco. Uh, I'll t and I'll tell you now why it doesn't mention the first youth commissioner, because the first youth commissioner was in the report before that. This no, but she, she went within this period. No, she didn't. She did. She didn't. She did. Really? You'll have to forgive me for that, Simon. Uh, well, in that case, I should have done, yes. This is ferry workers blockading Eurotunnel. Yeah, it's a bit of a confusing situation. It might seem strange, but Eurotunnel has until recently been running a ferry service called My Ferry Link. But the competition authorities in this country express real concern about that, saying with both trains through the Channel Tunnel and also by running a ferry service, Eurotunnel could effectively become too powerful on the cross-channel market. This has been going through the courts for a number of years now, but Eurotunnel have effectively said, we've had enough, we've thrown in the towel we won't run the ferry services anymore. Well, 20 residents had a rude awakening this morning at half past one when they were told they had to leave their homes. A huge amount of activity here. This is the closest we're allowed to the hole but if we zoom the camera in down there you can make out behind that police cordon the edge of the hole and the size of it. It swallowed up a large part of the road. It's from the air though that you really get a sense of the scale of this. The hole is 20 metres across and 10 metres deep.